The purpose of this video is to talk about how students would log into Edge Elastic. However you normally enter Clever, go ahead and do that. If it's abnormal for you to use Clever, or this is your first time using Clever, head to the website of your school. My screen is a little bit shrunk, so I have the more option appearing right here. You might instantly see where it says resources. In the resources tab, item number one is Clever. Go ahead and click Clever one time. Inside of Clever, you are going to authenticate with Google. Go ahead and click Google one time right here and then sign in using your school provided account. Once you are inside of Clever, you will scroll down the screen just a little bit in order to locate Edge Elastic. Click on Edge Elastic one time. After you click on Edge Elastic one time, you should land on a screen that looks very similar to this. You're going to choose the option that says sign in with Google. Go ahead and provide your student provided email into that login space, followed by your password in order to sign in with Google. When you sign in for the very first time, Edge Elastic may ask you to provide a class code in order to make sure that you can see the assignments provided by your teacher. If that does not immediately appear, use the menu on the left side of your screen in order to locate My Classes. Click on My Classes one time. Over here in the top right corner, you'll notice where it says Join Class. Go ahead and click that Join Class button one time. Now, your teacher has probably provided you a class code. Go ahead and type that information into this space and then use the Join button. If for some reason something goes wrong while you're entering the class code, be careful to pay attention. The letter L might look like the number one. The letter I also might look like a letter L. The number zero could actually be the letter O. So ask your teacher for any insight if for some reason the class code is not functioning properly. Once you've supplied that information into this space, then your classes should appear here. Any pending assignments can either be accessed by visiting the class using this button right here, or your other option is on the left-hand side, you'll notice how assignments is the very first option. By clicking assignments, you'll see all of the assignments for your class. If you have several classes and several assignments, and you're not finding exactly what you're looking for, you'll notice in the top right-hand corner that there is a drop-down menu. Inside of the drop-down menu, you'll be able to find any classes where you have added yourself to that roster. Thank you so much for paying attention to today's video and have a great day.